it doesn't seem like this administration uh, is trying to calm this or tame any of the tensions we're seeing in our nation. Well, they're not. And, and you're right, there's a dramatic difference. This week we had a, a peaceful protest on the mall. 300,000 people came out to stand for Israel. I took part in, in, in the March for Israel, and it was peaceful and calm and, and, and united. Uh, you contrast that to these violent protests, and, 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 and it is these are dangerous, and, and we're seeing them. We've seen violent attacks on the White House. We've seen violent protests at universities, and these are viciously anti-Semitic protests. We're seeing Jewish students at universities across the country harassed, and, and all of this is a manifestation of the cultural Marxism that, that has infused the institutions of our country. And just this week, I, I have a brand new book that just came out, yes. Unwoke, How to Defeat Cultural Marxism in America. And, and this book, it, it's uh, rush to the top of the bestsellers. This book breaks down and explains what's happening right now, why we're seeing the, the, these horribly anti-Semitic protests, why we're seeing every major institution in our country, universities, K through 12 education, journalism, big business, uh, big tech, entertainment, science, all of them have been captured by the radical left. And this book on woke explains how that happened how they took it over from the inside, but then critically, it lays out a clear practical battle plan for how we how we take the institutions yes. back. The tangible and, and, takeaways. And if we don't take our institutions back, we will lose our country. Clearly, it's already in progress here if you look at what's unfolding. Yeah, that's real tangible takeaways for readers. It's getting rave reviews, so congratulations on Unwoke, Senator. Um, I do want to play a little bit of some of those protesters outside. Uh, this is someone who was interviewed talking about why uh, they were there. They actually said it was peaceful. Let's play this soundbite. Oh, we don't have the soundbite, but they basically said, we are peaceful. Video shows otherwise. We are in front of the DNC right now, and they're holding a fancy gala. So there's also sort of an interesting cultural thing here going on where it comes to, they're trying to attack the elites, if you will, in this country. But I will also get your reaction to the standalone aid bill for Israel that the House passed and then the Senate did not. What do you message do you think this sends to our strongest ally, Israel? And, and why, why do you think that was such a, 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 a bad move not to get that? It could be on the president's desk for signature right now, Senator Cruz. Yeah. Look, so unfortunately, today's Democrat Party has been radicalized. And, and so uh, what happened this week in the Senate is I and several other Republican senators forced a vote on Israel military aid uh, on the Senate. We used a, a procedural tool called a rogue cloture petition, where basically we took control of the floor from the Senate majority leader and forced that vote. And, and Democrats were furious but then, sadly, they ended up voting, and every single Democrat, all of them, voted against providing emergency military aid to Israel. Israel is at war right now. They are in a war for their very existence. They are fighting to eliminate Hamas. It is a battle between civilization and terror. And, and the Democrats, their view, they put partisan politics above everything, and so all of them voted no. I thought it was disgraceful. And I'll tell you, part of the reason that they voted no. It, it goes back to, 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 to exactly what I talk about in, in the new book, Unwoke, which is in the chapter on journalism. Our corporate media has abandoned the role of actually reporting on news, and it is now simply a propagandist. And so the Democrats can all vote against military aid to Israel. Why? Because they know it will not end up on the 6 o'clock news. They know that CNN will not report on it. They know the New York Times will not report on it. So their voters will never hear about it. And it's why instead they're more afraid of the radical anti-Semites on the left. They're more afraid of the squad. And, and they also want to use Israel aid to leverage their other partisan objectives. And so it's... it was a really sad moment to see every single Senate Democrat vote against Israel military aid. I agree. And I agree with your point about the media there. But the good thing is Americans are waking up. They're uh, watching outlets like Newsmax here and they're getting the truth and the transparency. But you're right. The propaganda arm of uh, what's going on here uh, is is something that's a main piece of this. But Senator Cruz, congratulations on the new book. Thanks for joining us to discuss some of these alarming protests and the violence we're seeing uh, with these uh, these calls for a ceasefire. Good to see you, sir.